Okay, Tom, tell me about your little truck here. Well, it's a 56 Chevy, it's a little uh, step side, short bed. Um, I acquired this truck in 2007. It was in a uh, horse corral out in San Ynez, California. And I drug it out of the horse corral and took it home and took it apart, completely apart, down to the bare frame and, and started from scratch. Every nut, bolt, washer and everything in the truck is brand new or rebuilt or reconditioned. Wow. Uh, I spent a lot of time in a sandblasting cabinet with parts, redoing the parts and stuff. Um, and this is fairly a new build as far as mileage. It's only got about 600 miles on it since I finished the truck. Wow. The bed's really straight. I worked on this bed for probably six weeks because the, the trick to doing something like this is it's kind of uh, neat because not only does the outside of the bed have to be straight, but the inside of the bed has to be straight too. So you're working on two surfaces that are about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Beautiful. This truck started out as a poor man's hot rod and ended up, <laughs> I ended up putting a ton of money in it. It, uh, it actually has tuck and roll interior in it. Um, it isn't leather, it's vinyl that kind of simulates leather, but it is actual tuck and roll interior. The seat belts all retract and stuff. It, uh, everything is, you know, it's new convenience. There's a hearse shifter with a, a Saginaw, GM Saginaw four-speed transmission from a car. And there's power disc brakes on it and power steering from a late model Chevy truck on the original straight axle. The uh, the seat has been rebuilt. The back the back part of the seat is only about half as thick as it was originally because I'm so big that I when I sit in the seat I couldn't get my feet up to get on the pedals. <laughs> so I took the took the gas tank out, put the gas tank underneath the frame in the back, and and had my upholstery guy re rebuild the back of the seat. Great, why don't you pop that hood right now and take a beat to the engine compartment. Wow. The, the engine is a 355 inch, 350 block. It's got flat top pistons in it, uh, a, cop, a comp cam, an Adelbrock uh, Torker manifold with a 7, uh, 750 CFM Holley carburetor. It's got a GM serpentine belt system on it that is a GM performance product. The, uh, it comes with a power steering pump, the alternator and everything is part of the, 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 the kit. And I kind of tricked it up a little bit. There's a bar, if you look right here, there's a little ridge right here. Mm -hmm. This hood, or these hoods, oil canned on you. You know, you'd push them down and stuff, and yeah. they'd act like an old oil can. So I put a, a brace in there and actually made it part of the hood. Oh, super. <laughs> so it doesn't oil can on us anymore. And the, Let me get around this other side over here. You did a lot of work on the firewall and everything. I, I, I did extensive work on the firewall. It's actually the, this, a lot of people, when they do these firewalls, they will make them, they'll put a piece over the whole firewall. Well, I did individual pieces in the little in coves hmm. and then did, you know, Bondo work and stuff and cleaned it up. It's, it's not just a, a piece that's laid across the top of the wow. firewall like, like most people do it. And the underneath is as detailed to fitting the exterior of the the, uh, the frame is silver, just like the trim on the truck. Uh, the axle, the front axle, the rear axle is painted the color of the car, of the truck. Um, you know, I, I knew what color I was going to paint it when I started on it, so. It, uh, and it's, it's as clean on the bottom as it is on the top. Yeah, let's go back in the back side here and let me take a peek at the uh, rent, if I can get a shot of that.
The rear end that's in it is just a stock 56 Chevy pickup uh, truck rear end. I imagine it has 411 gears in it and stuff, but uh, everything is is new and there's no whining or anything. It's in good shape. Super. Well, I'm going to shut this off for a second. We'll get a, a shot of it running. Okay, Tom, fire it up. Brand new truck, isn't it? Yeah, it is a brand new My name is Dave Henry, and if you care to give me a phone call and make an offer on this fine truck, I'd sure appreciate it. My cell phone is 805-705-4924. That's 805-705-4924. And please visit my website, which is SpokeMotors.com. That's Spoke, S-P-O-K-E, Motors, M-O-T-O-R-S.com. Thank you very much for tuning in.